Hello, this is Sunny. Welcome back. The 2000 Nobel Prize in Literature was awarded to Chinese author Mo Yan. English speakers call him Mo Yan. I don't know who is right. The Swedish Academy said, through a mixture of fantasy and reality, historical and social perspectives. Mo Yan has created a world reminiscent in its complexity of those in the writings of William Faulkner, and、uh, I don't know how to pronounce this name, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. At the same time, finding a departure point in old Chinese literature and in oral tradition. I have no idea what they try to say, but I'm still glad Mo Yan has won the prize and one point million dollars. Mo Yan、uh, didn't have much schooling. He dropped out of a primary school and worked as a peasant most of his childhood in Shandong Province in the east coast area of China, where I'm from. In some、uh, in some way, not much education was a blessing for him, because too much education in China might have killed his wild imagination and creativity. In his childhood, his family was very poor. Well, everybody was very poor in 1960s. In order to survive, he ate tree bark and weeds sometimes. And this early suffering inspired his works. He said, "Loneliness and hunger were my fortunes of creation. I accomplished nothing, but I'm lonely and hungry every single day. I think I should eat some tree bugs and weeds for inspiration, not pizza. Too much." Mo Yan in Chinese means "do not speak," but he speaks a lot with his writings. You may never have read his novels, but you may find a Chinese movie called "Red Saga," which was based on his novel with the same name. His writing might be very provocative and sometimes vulgar. And take a look a clip. Yeah. <laughs> 